Hi dears, today we're going to be learning how to make this gorgeous, elegant, green line fascinator. And in making it, we'll be making use of all these items listed here. So you're going to learn how to make the base of this fascinator. Then you're going to learn how to make these loops. You're also going to learn how to attach a comb to your fascinator and do so many other things to form this gorgeous fascinator you see here. So let's begin. So now what we need is our 7 to 8 wheat inch crinoline and this is one yard, that's 36 inches that I'm making use of. So you're going to pull the two threads at the two corners like so, pull it till it's squeezed very much. Then you're going to take the two edges and like do like a pleating and get them all into the middle like so. Once you're done with that, you're going to turn it round. That's the thread that you got from it. Use it to tie it like so. Keep watching and learning. Done with that, what you do is you cut off the thread and also the excess sticking out there. Be careful that you don't cut it too close so it doesn't loosen. Okay, then once you're done, you turn it the other way and it forms your fascinator base. Now let's make the loop. Now this is nine inches that I've cut out, and I just fold into two and fold it into that two on the long side and on the short side, and I sew it like so. Keep watching and learning. So I have made six loops and now I'm going to be sewing them to my fascinator base and I'm going to be placing them turning in three different directions, one facing up, the other one side and the other one facing the other way. They kind of appear differently when you look at them well. So that's what I'm going to be doing on this side then I'll replicate it on the other side. Remember it's six so three on one side and three on the other side. Keep watching and learning. Okay, so I'm done with the three and this is the position I'm going to be putting the other three like so. Okay, see how it looks? Isn't it gorgeous? All right then, so let's get to the next step. Now this is our veil. Now you're going to be needing 13 inches by 10 by 5 inches. So you can just buy half a yard from the market. Then I'm going to be cutting using my zigzag scissors to form a zigzag lining all the way around. So I'm going to cut all the corners. Before we continue, I would like to invite you to attend our Crinoline Masters class. Now, this is a class you don't want to miss as a millionaire. It gets you to know how to manipulate crinoline. You know, most of the times you see some fantastic designs I have, it's because of the basics that I know in crinoline. So join us, just click the Divine Craft Academy link in the description and join us for this class. Get back to today's tutorial. Now the next thing I'm doing is pleating the veil that I cut out. Remember, it's 13 by 10.5 inches. That's how it is, and I'm going to be sewing it to my fascinator where I've already put the loops on top. Now you can tie it first of all with your needle and thread before you join it, but I just decided to join everything up together. So just watch and learn. Done. The next step is to attach our fascinator comb to the fascinator base that we're making. Not yet done, but I decided at this point in time to attach my comb. Now, what you do normally is you take the thread through the teeth. Ah, 
using fishing line was uh, kind of a bit clumsy and dress because you know it's separate somehow but fishing line kind of is stronger actually i feel than thread if you have a different opinion please do let me know in the comment section below but i'll allow you to watch and see how you sew your comb to the fascinator bins if you have gained value so far from this training please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed click the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos that done the next thing i did was to get my rows that i've already made i didn't do that because i didn't show you how to do that because i did that in last week's video so if you haven't watched it don't worry i'll leave a link down below in the description and also i would also leave it up when we get to that point but just watch and learn how you sew the rows to the fascinator So that was done i got a little piece of material this was a shining pulley cut it to a small size that could cover up the sewing details behind and used my uhu gum to cover it up keep watching and learning After that, I took my crystal stones and I started sticking them on the veil. And to put in my finishing touches, I got some spiky feathers and I used just for actually. I didn't want them so much. I think sometimes a few is beautiful. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. time to know who won our last week game challenge if you didn't watch it just click up so that you can watch the video but or you wait till later on the link is below so who won the game challenge for last week it is martyr congratulations please do go to the description below and join the event Ac academy and let us know that you won so we can give you your gift now today's question for this week's challenge is what other thing can you use instead of the veil that was used to let me know in the comment section below and the person who writes what I have in mind <laughs> you can read my mind you're gonna be attending the Vents Masters Crinoline, Crinoline Masters class for half price yeah to write your answer in the comment section below and await the video that would announce who's the winner next week all right before you leave do check out this next crinoline fascinator video Mwah.